I thought I'd start today's video a little bit differently for once. We're hoping to pour our concrete on Tuesday. It's Sunday today, so that's only two days away. And today our main focus is to get the radiant heating system in and the foam and our vapor barrier. So we're thinking, Eric's pretty confident we can get that all done within the next two days. However, as far as an inspection goes, an HVAC inspection, our inspector is only available for that on Mondays and Wednesdays. So if we do that on Wednesday and if we need to change anything, he might not be able to come out again for many more days. So you can see how inspections can quickly or slowly delay something like a concrete pour. We're hoping to secure an inspection for tomorrow and he generally comes early, like butt crack of dawn early. So that means today we have to work together to make sure that things are ready for that and we think we can do it. If we don't, we're just really risking this entire project. Eric and Terry have to go home probably mid-week and we really want their help with the pour. So that's what I'm doing this morning is I'm trying. I already applied for a permit. It's 133 bucks for this portion uh, just to get to the point where we can create our slab. And what I like about this stuff is it gives me a little extra time to drink coffee. Unfortunately, we had to get a few more things to be slab ready. They weren't available locally. So Jesse ran to Home Depot this morning. We were gonna go last night except by the time we were ready to hit the road, it was already past eight, Home Depot closes at nine, and all the restaurants in the area close at nine too. So it was one or the other, and we decided to just enjoy a meal together. So Jesse should be back any minute now, and hopefully we can make some really awesome progress today. Made it back from Home Depot. We're under a lot of pressure to get all this stuff done today, but thankfully we've got a lot of great help. So hopefully things will go Super smooth. Coffee for Eric? Mm-hmm. Every time he's offered coffee, he always says, yes, please. Atta boy. <laughs> Atta boy. Hey, good morning. This is from Alyssa. Well, I thank her. More much. coffee, more coffee, more coffee. So Eric and Terry have been working hard this morning, and Eric put our foam paneling down just to see if it would lay flat, which is really what we're trying to achieve to make our life super easy. And it sounds like it hit the castellations on this lower uh, frost wall block. So they got that all trimmed out. So this foam will just lay right in there, nice and easy. It sounds like if you do the right amount of prep work, the foam will go really good or really bad. Poor prep work makes for more work. Something like this is I'd roll it, lay it out, roll it down here and cut it, and then okay. just fold out yep. over top of your plumbing and then kind of get it as close to where you want it and then okay. go in and kind of X and drop it and down. And drop it down, you okay. Know, nice, best okay. Way to do it. That sounds survivable. <laughs> so this is a six mil moisture barrier. It's polyethylene film. And if you do it right, you don't have to put too many joints in it. <laughs> I think there's a couple over there. What's that? Oh, it's venting. Okay. Oh. Do we have another roll of tape? Or is that yeah, the there's, there should be like four of them. Okay. Is it good to roll that under, over? Doesn't uh, matter? Yeah, it don't matter. Okay. So Alyssa doesn't know this, but Eric brought his hammer drill out this morning. And he's like, so anyway, I'm just gonna drill a hole in the concrete right here. Anyway, I just went about six inches in. Really? And there just you go, calmly. and he puts a nail in it. And I'm just like, <laughs> you suck. <laughs> uh, plastic over or I'll under. Do. I started putting all of our tools away yesterday because we needed to free up pier space knowing that we'd need a lot of stuff again. So already I've misplaced our scissors. I have no idea where they are. And I don't think we have any more box cutters. So lesson learned. Don't clean up after yourself. Haha. -ha. Oh, I know. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Go around town parade style. <laughs> Here goes nothing. That's pretty good. Now we're 
start talking. All right, time to set my time lapse. It's so nice to see our material pile shrinking. Whoa, two at a time. Watch out. <laughs> Look at that cloud burst like around the sun, isn't that cool? Well, it's about 2.40. 
and we're just finishing putting all the foam down. So next we gotta do rebar and we gotta start laying our tubing. And that should go fairly quick. Maybe we could finish early enough to go waterfall scouting. That would be a really good day. Terry's enjoying the only shade on this property. It feels like 20 degrees cooler over here, doesn't it? <laughs> We're in this huge sun oven right now. Can you think of anything we can um, like kind of work on? I, I'm sure cleaning wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, just tidy up would be fantastic. Um, I would think, lightheaded, um, yeah. I would think probably could slowly start bringing rebar in. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And start laying it out probably on the 20 foot side. 12 or inches on center. 12 on center, both directions. Yep, let's see. Your foot. Maybe your foot. Oh. Just a little bit further. That's how I do it. Is I, I You're step never I supposed to one. measure a lady's foot on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot up that way. We have a bunch of extra Schedule 60 rebar that's just left over. So even though we don't need that strength of rebar in our slab, we're going to go ahead and try to use this up. Um, and then the new stuff we just bought, that's Schedule 40. It's the 20 footers, but we'll see if we can blow through this pile because the less stuff sitting around this property, the happier we are. I think it's 18 inches overlap. Okay. 16 or 18, I don't know. I usually just do two foot on everything. But. Yep. Yeah. No cutting rebar. <laughs> Yay. Although three eighths is probably nothing compared it, yeah, to it, half. It busts. Wow, that's looking good. So did you have 12 inch shoes ordered or uh, no. your feet are just 12 inch? Well, they're actually 13. So I have oh, to the go 13. back. Oh, the 13s. Oh. Got to go back in a little bit. Well, you can have your toes cut off. That's all that. That would. <laughs> it most definitely would. It would save you a lot of time cutting your toes off. It would. Getting good at it yet? I think so. Did everybody survive that? Yep. We have one, We're two, too. three, <laughs> four. Count off. We have four survivors. Wow. <laughs> yep. Five. Where's number oh, five? Okay. Five. Number five. <laughs> number five. Number five. Well, you've successfully tied your brains out. How'd that go? This is okay. Yeah. I'm just, I don't know. Being hunched over is hard. Yep. Yeah. Look it at sucks. your hand. Oh geez, we should, should we show them? That's nasty. <laughs> See, I wear gloves. Can I touch your face? No. <laughs> Hold on, let's check the hand that held the wire ties. Wow, that's mm, pretty nasty. It's juicy. Does that go like every four rebar? Uh, it just, I go probably about, yeah, three or four. About three or so in between. We're yeah. so nice, our rebar looks a little tired, so we thought we'd just, you know, <laughs> give it a, a place chair. to sit. Yeah. It's not as bad once you start pouring because the, the concrete will kind of go underneath of it. So if you're stepping on the pack, then the
puts our mankita to shame. Yeah, it does. My mankita is more like a boy kita now. Yeah. Here's our redneck spool idea. <laughs> Where was that when we had the poly? I know, right? Oh, wait, it wouldn't have mattered. Because that's not how poly works. It seems like it would work. Bye guys! <laughs> We're doing five loops of 250 yep. each. Yep. We're doing a reverse coil design. Mm -hmm. If you want to know more, look it up because we don't have time to share. That's what yeah, we're doing. That's what's gonna happen. We're gonna try it, and if it gets really confusing, we're gonna stop and do something else. This is so hypothetical. <laughs> Terry's still outside the building, so there's still a chance. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can see an issue that if we try to, let's see, if we were to try to bring two runs in and out of here, it won't work there's gonna be a dead zone, mm -hmm. unless we bring a zone right by each other, because there's an even number mm -hmm. of, or an odd number of rails. So we couldn't get a loop in and out, okay. two loops, sorry, yeah. in and out of this. Because yeah. this one could go up and then and come down, back. And then up, and then it, it can't come down because that one's already, already tied to there. Yeah, because it's an even number, or an odd number of loops. Mm -hmm. We're changing the plan. We're not doing the spiral anymore. Long story short, it's too complicated right now. And we didn't account for the buttress, which is kind of throwing things off. So we're going to go ahead and do, I don't know what the term is for it. I guess the more standard radiant layout. We're going to do each run kind of grouped together zigged and zagged so let's see how that goes what we were doing right now is we weren't zip tying just to kind of try out this layout but we're thinking that we actually should zip tie to better use all of the linear footage we have of the pipe and the guys are confident that it's gonna work out and i've never done this before i have no idea so i'm really excited to see how it goes He said that all that was in here was a bunch of twist ties. Yeah. You want to know what else is in here? Mm. Hold on. Can you hold this? Yeah. Impromptu unboxing. Catnip. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we have to give this to Bugaboo. Uh, I didn't open that. I didn't also, open that far. something for Alyssa. Chocolate. Oh, wow. Oh, this wow. makes my night. Holy I think we smokes. Have to I gotta keep on my A game, man. They're gonna take this girl away from me. Take no time at all. That's the thing I was thinking. Uh -huh. It was okay. So there's only Got a it. handful of the ties in here. Maybe enough. I don't really know. Oh, I thought the I whole thing the was whole full thing of zip ties. Chocolate. Well, no, there's another bag. The there's another <laughs> shipment of entire zip ties. That's a really? thousand zip ties. Yeah, okay, that's so from I'll a go friend. Find that one. Yeah, that's from a follower. And we're gonna have to list bug You know who you are. Thank you for the catnip. <laughs> oh my goodness, it gets better. <laughs> Oh, geez, there's a letter to Bugaboo? Ha! <laughs> it's, it's, it's labeled. Oh, mercy. Wow. I think oh, they were afraid you were going to steal gracious, it. I think it's right? only appropriate for the outro to get Bugaboo enjoying this on camera. Oh, he's going to go crazy. <laughs> okay, back to what you're doing. Okay. That was worth the interruption, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. This box. Nope, not that box. Nope. Crap. Maybe it's in here. Haha. -ha. These are little, little guys. Well, that sucks. These are like feather white. Look oh, at that, that difference. Jeez, those are a joke. I'm gonna test one out. I'll try it. I don't know. They're cute. That's this for might sure. be a job for Terry and I. I don't know. Looks. Well, what's wrong with we'll that? tell you when they start. We start yanking on each other. We could do long runs here, couldn't we? Because there's four. We could go up and down. No, that'd put us in a weird spot, wouldn't it? We should probably run this over there. Yeah. Up yep. and down, up and down. Yep. Pretty should be four bags of these apparently. Because I bought a thousand. Oh, sorry. 
I got that on camera, sorry. Didn't I didn't even expect that at all. It was like whack. Okay, now this whole thing wants to like go. Wow, look at it go across the driveway. The question is, how good can you tie up radiant when you can't see the radiant? We may run out of daylight to get this done tonight. I don't know. It's okay. I think maybe try to do maybe an early start in the morning. I don't mm -hmm. know. If we get it snugged up for tonight, we can do lots it. of fine tuning. Yeah. I don't think the inspector cares about zip ties. I don't, I don't really think so. I think he only cares about pressurized system. No leaks. No leaks. Wants to see moisture barrier foam. Yeah. That's all. I was kind of curious if we're worried at all that this won't make it. I think it will. I think if we... Can I just like, yeah. like, let's see. I'm almost thinking we should come to there and stop. Time for headlamps. <laughs> this is how we've been finishing nearly every day lately. Hey, I can see again. <laughs> They're not just blackness anymore. Yeah. There's actually something there. Guess who came home? I hear him. Last time I gave Bugaboo catnip, he didn't do anything. So let's go see what he does. Bugaboo. Oh, hi, buddy. Bugaboo. Bugaboo. Oh, hi, buddy. You can't rub on the camera because then I can't see you. Oh, goodness. Christopher, thank you so much for this gift. After reading your letter, we realized you had sent it long before we poured our footings. And here it is about a month later. But I'm happy to tell you that the zip ties, or whatever you called them, are coming in handy today. And the vent caps for the cistern, I definitely think Jesse should try to pimp out with those. Come here. Bugaboo, come here. Bugaboo. Bugaboo. Hey, bugaboo. He's rubbing on it. Bugaboo. Ooh, catnip. Ooh, catnip. Ooh, getting all crazy. <laughs> Look at you. Oh my gosh, don't eat it. Don't eat it, Bugaboo. Bugaboo, come here. Look at him. Bugaboo. <laughs> oh, hey. Bugaboo. Oh my goodness. Look. Oh. Rawr. Oh. <laughs> Bugaboo. <laughs> come here. Watch this. Bugaboo. Bugaboo. <laughs>